Welcome to this example Solid Mastermind training video for Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology. Solid Mastermind is the complete online resource for all of your Solid Edge training needs and support questions. In the next few minutes, you will see a short example of the type of Solid Edge training material available to members of Solid Mastermind. This preview is part of the surfacing training and covers the use of the cross curve command. We'll start this session by looking at the cross curve command. This is one of the fastest and most simple ways to create a 3D curve. Essentially, it allows us to select 2D geometry from two different views in order to produce the 3D curve. The profiles for the two curves can be created on the fly when accessing the command. However, the easiest way to use the command is to create two sketches up front. Each sketch will be on a different plane and will represent the shape that needs to be created when viewing the part directly on that plane. To show the command working, we'll create a new metric part. Then use the sketch command and pick the top reference plane. Once in the sketch, we'll draw a curve. And then finish. We'll then create another sketch and use the parallel plane option. Identify the front reference plane and set the distance towards the left hand side. Once in the sketch, we'll draw a three point arc. We'll make sure the start and end of the arc are lined up with the ends of the curve that was in the first sketch. And then finish. These two sketches represent the shape of the curve we would like to create, the first one looking from the top and the second from the front. So we can now pick the cross curve command from the surfacing ribbon. The command bar will appear and step us through the creation of the curve. The first step is to pick curve one. We'll make sure the input mode is set to select from sketch. Then identify the curve and hit accept. Then repeat the same process for the second curve. And the cross curve is immediately created. Once created, a cross curve will appear as a feature in the Pathfinder. From here it can be edited like any other parametric feature. However, to modify its shape, we simply need to edit its underlying sketches. We'll double click on the curve in sketch 1, then drag one of its control vertices to modify it as shown. 